The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Today we are going to talk about cancer. What is cancer? And we are going to see what causes cancer and how we diagnose what are the symptoms of cancer, what tests are done and finally what is the overall treatment of cancer and what and how can you prevent cancer. So this video will encompass the general idea of cancer as a full scope explanation, right? So let's just discuss about cancer. See, cancer is an uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells in the body. And cancerous cells are also called malignant cells. What causes cancer? See, cancer grows out of cells which are already present in the body, right? Normally, cells multiply when the body needs them and then dies when they are damaged or when body does not need them, right? Cancer appears to occur when the genetic material of a cell becomes mutated, changed, right? This results in the cells growing out of control and cells divide very fast, very quickly and do not die in the normal way. There are so many kinds of cancer which grow like this, right? And cancer can develop in almost any organ or tissue in your body right like the lungs the colon breast skin bones nerves nervous tissue anywhere right and therefore uh, we basically see what are the risk factors for cancer right and there are many risk factors of cancer right for example uh, drinking too much or drinking too heavy alcohols right then chemical exposures like benzenes uh, environmental toxins like uh, some poisonous mushrooms, some types of molds that can grow on peanut plants and produce toxins like aflatoxins, some genetic problems, right? Obesity is a risk, radiation exposure is a risk, like too many x rays, too many uh, this thing, uh, CT scans or radiation. Uh, in a radioisotope uh, scan or any kind of uh, radiation exposure. Too much sunlight, ex sunlight exposure for that matter also has a risk, right? Viruses, viral infections have a risk of cancer. So the cause of uh, many cancers are actually unknown also, right? And most of the causes of cancers related to um, uh, cancer related deaths most of the causes uh, cancer related deaths are due to lung cancer lung cancer is a very dangerous cancer right and skin cancer is also very common and very commonly diagnosed and apart from uh, skin the most three most common cancers are prostate cancer lung cancer colorectal cancer and even breast cancer is very common so um, and what else uh, what else? Uh, some cancers are more common in some part of the world. Like Japan, uh, stomach cancer is more common. In uh, US uh, or in America, stomach cancer is less common. And uh, uh, other, there can be actually many types of cancer. Cervical cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma, kidney cancer, leukemia, liver cancer, non-Hodgkin, ovaries, pancreas, testicular, thyroid, uterine, your kidney or oh my god, so many, all, any tissue can have cancer. So how will we diagnose cancer, right? What are the symptoms? See, symptom of a cancer depend upon number one, the type and location of the cancer. For example, if, if it is in the lungs, you can have coughing, shortness of breath. You can have chest pain also. Then other example, if it is in the colon, then cancer can lead to colon is your intestine, it large intestine, then the cancer can lead to diarrhea, constipation, even blood in stools, right? So we have to see symptoms depend upon the system involved, right? Some cancers may not have any symptom at all. And in certain cancers such as pancreatic cancer, symptoms often do not start until the disease has reached to a very advanced stage, right? So, uh, 
most symptoms when you see many cancers can product present in variety of symptoms like sometimes people may have chills fatigue fever loss of appetite malaise uh, night sweats pain weight loss something like that so we have to do tests if we think there is a possibility of cancer so whenever you go to a doctor with see symptoms or a risk or a history of cancer family history of cancer then we do some uh, test to find out the type and location of the tumor cancer most commonly done tests are number one is if we know that there is a tumor there is a growth then we do a biopsy of the tumor right then we do blood tests blood tests which actually look for chemicals like uh, tumor markers tumor markers are increased and there are so many various types of tumor markers uh, which are specific to certain types of tumors right then sometimes uh, we if there is a blood cancer uh, lymphoma or leukemia then bone marrow biopsy is done x rays are done complete blood count is done sometimes ct scan is required liver function is required kidney function is required sometimes mri scan or pet scan is required to see if the cancer is has spread to certain areas or not right has spread to other tissues right so most cancers can be diagnosed by biopsy biopsy is that's why very important and depending upon the location of the cancer the biopsy may be very a simple procedure like um, uh, or it might be a serious operation of the biopsy if you have to do a brain biopsy it's a very serious condition right serious serious, serious procedure so most people with cancer uh, do have a ct scan right to determine the exact location and the size of the tumor a cancer is diagnosed uh, very often uh, but no it's the diagnosis of cancer is very difficult right and it is difficult to even cope with the diagnosis for the patient so it's very very important for um, the doctor to be gentle and important for discussing all the treatment options right then it's actually uh, we'll make a different video on this right how to cope with cancer then treatment treatment of cancer see uh, treatment varies it is uh, based on the type of cancer and its stage right the stage means um, how much the cancer has grown and whether the tumor has spread from the original location or not right that is the stage so if the cancer is in one location and it has not spread the most common treatment approach is surgery you have to remove to actually cure the cancer right in that case this is often the case with skin cancers right as well as cancers in the lung breast and colon if you have lung breast colon or skin cancer mostly surgical excision wide excision is done that means wherever the tumor is we excise somewhere 3 to 3 cm wide areas to actually cover all the edges so that all the cancer tissue has been removed even if one cell remains the cancer can you know restart and spread okay if the tumor has already spread to a local lymph node right obviously cancer can spread through blood through lymph node through local invasion so if it has gone to a local lymph node only then sometimes these lymph nodes can also be removed during the surgery right and it's it's easy to do that it's it's good to do that but then uh, sometimes die for diagnosis also sentinel lymph nodes are removed especially in breast cancer cases right and if the can if the surgery cannot remove all the cancer say the cancer has spread to various places sometimes to the bones to the into the blood or into other organs then we have to opt for other treatment options like radiation chemotherapy immunotherapy targeted cancer therapy and hormonal therapy right or other types of treatments whatever these available right this all treatments basically target to reduce or stop the cancer from all these uh, therapy and other other different different angles right some obviously then some cancers will require combination of therapy right uh, <clears throat> chemotherapy immunotherapy radiation therapy uh, is and non uh, are, are the most common they are often used and this is, these are very commonly used right see treatment of cancer can be difficult but there are many ways which will help you uh, to cope and it's very very important to concentrate on your 
health during and even after the treatment so we're going to make a video on that also right because see if you are having uh, on radiation therapy then you have to you know allow that um, you take plenty of rest eat well balanced food right and uh, obviously skin in which is treated will become a little sensitive by the radiation right so you have to be under you have to understand that that is temporary and uh, you have to talk to your doctor about it if you're taking chemotherapy then you have to obviously eat right also take a lot of rest that is that's the most important right and you have to avoid other diseases right secondary infections you have to avoid glow cold flus right because during cancer therapy your immune system will become weak right so you have to you have to keep in touch with your doctor so how to prevent cancer right can you prevent yes you can reduce the risk of getting a cancerous tumor number 1 by eating healthy eating healthy foods exercising regularly right limiting your alcohol intake maintaining a healthy weight it's very important and then minimizing your exposure to any radiation even the sun or any toxic chemicals say any chemical plant near your area um or factory chemical factory then not smoking smoking or chewing tobacco both causes they have 7000 chemicals which can lead to cancer then uh, you can reduce your sun exposure as i already said right and most importantly you need to undergo cancer screenings like for females they have to and they should undergo mammography and breast examination for breast cancer uh, for colon cancer we do colonoscopy right these things can help catch the cancer at early stages when these are the most treatable they can be removed completely right and people who have a higher risk for developing cancers uh, they can even take medicines to reduce their risk there are certain medicines which you need to talk to your doctor if you have a risk right so this is overall general idea about cancer hope you like the video don't forget to share this knowledge right it's very 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 important for people to understand the basics and even the depth we are going to we are going to make videos on on each and every type of cancer uh, as the time goes right so make sure to follow this series and make sure to share this information it's very important if you like the information do give us a thumbs up and uh, i'll see you tomorrow next time stay connected stay healthy